Aliso Viejo returned from a family vacation with an unusual souvenir. Yeah, there was a snail living inside his knee, as CBS2 Orange County reporter Michelle Geely shows us. Even doctors failed to notice it. I thought it was kind of crazy. Four-year-old Paul Franklin has it right. Crazy and a bit creepy to think that a tiny sea snail has apparently been living under his skin ever since the Aliso Viejo boy hurt his knee while camping at the beach last month. Like parents concerned, we just cleaned it up, put a Band-Aid on it, and before you know it, um, a couple weeks later, his knee was very swollen and somewhat infected. Next came a few trips to the doctor, days of antibiotics and the fear that Paul's wound was badly infected, maybe with a dangerous strain of staph. I came home from work and his knee was the size of an, size of an orange. <laughs> He's heard me talk about this before. Um, size of an orange and hot to the touch and he's limping. And I'm like, okay, we just, I, we just gotta go to urgent care. Antibiotics helped. Paul's fever disappeared. But all throughout August, that pesky wound wouldn't heal. And soon came a new development. It was a week ago today when Paul's mom noticed that the spot on his knee was turning black. Upon taking a closer look, she decided she had to drain the wound. And that is when this little guy popped out. It looked like a rock. It was a black thing, and I put it on the paper towel, and I'm like, that is a weird-looking rock. It has whorls on it. I turn it over, and it is a sea snail, and I just, like, had to laugh because we're going through this three-week ordeal. It's so itchy. When Rachel Franklin looked inside the shell and put the creature in water, she saw it move. Paul's parents are now relieved that he's almost healed. And what an odd tale Paul can share about his encounter with a snail. In Aliso Viejo, Michelle Geely, CBS2 News.